Okay, thank you, Bob. Well, could those winds from today be the cause of a building collapse in East Baltimore? Scary moments this morning when bricks fell onto a busy road and into a car driving by, sending one person to the hospital. WJC is live tonight. Avajor Burnett with more on that person's condition and an exclusive interview with the owner of the property. Avajoy. Vic, good evening. Imagine driving down the roadway when you feel an impact and you look to find out that it was an actual building that fell on top of your car and the side of your vehicle. That's what happened earlier today here along Greenmount Avenue. The roadway is back open, but you see that pile of bricks right there. Much of that was scattered into the roadway. Officials told us earlier today this could have been so much worse. An empty appliance store off Pittman Place in East Baltimore collapsed Friday morning. And all of a sudden, I felt the impact. Carlos Abarca was driving by in Greenmount. The force of the falling building crushed the side of his car where his girlfriend was sitting. They had to send her to the hospital. I couldn't stop it. I, tried, I hit the brakes, but it didn't matter. It just kept on going. The collapse happened just before 10, and the winds were already fierce. And we say that the wind contributed to this. We don't know at this point. Debbie Jay Z had an exclusive interview with a developer. He said he just asked the previous occupants to vacate the premises in January because of this very safety concern. And that's why the building was empty. Yes, we, we made sure we took all precautions, and, and um, that's why we talked to Heavenly Blessings about taking all their items out and making sure that no one was in the building operating. Baltimore has a tragic history of deadly building collapses. In 2014, a little boy died after a row home caught in fire and the building partially collapsed on him. In 2016, a man sitting in his Cadillac died after a building collapsed in West Baltimore. As officers removed this car from today's scene, the huge chunk of brick in a Barker's back seat is a reminder this could have been worse. I don't know what to say, man, but I know one thing that thing came down fast. That woman who was taken to the hospital, she has been released. And we want to give you an idea of the force of these bricks that fell onto their vehicle. It was powerful enough to deploy those airbags. Live tonight at 6, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.